सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल अगेन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड अबाउट द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ एम आर इन अ प्रैक्टिकल मैनर सो लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस द प्री रिक्वेजिट्स ऑफ एम आर पी लाइक एंड वी ऑल्सो लर्न अबाउट द थियोटिकल नॉलेज ऑफ एम आर पी एंड दैट एम आर पी यू नो दैट मटीरियल रिक्वायरमेंट प्लानिंग सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन अ प्रैक्टिकल मैनर एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल बी कम इन अ प्रैक्टिकल मैनर सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द एग्जीक्यूशन वॉट आर द प्री रिक्वेजिट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द एम आर पी रन सो द प्री रिक्वेजिट्स फॉर एम आर पी Uh, like first we can consider master data so what all are the master data is required for the mrp run that is material bomb routing work center production version so these all are the data which is necessary for the mrp run and uh, what all are the views which is required for the uh, mrp run and what are the things which we uh, need to put in the md01 and md02 and and md03 so all these thing we are going to discuss in this video so let's start with the material so i am going to take any any of material so with the transaction code as you know that mm02 is the material uh, change transaction code so i am taking uh, one of this material the views which is mentioning over here plant so first thing uh, we all needs like mrp group but mrp group is a uh, basically when we are grouping the material so at the time we required this mrp group to execute the complete functionality of mrp in a single grouping so this we cannot consider right now because we are just uh, going with the simple procedure how we can run the mrp so let's start with the mrp type and what we can also say mrp procedure so the first thing uh, we are going to discuss about the pd like what is pd it's a normal mrp run these all are the uh, mrp type which is mentioning in this t code and uh, there are like uh, manual reorder point planning manual reorder point planning without external requirements automatic auto vendor managed automatic reorder point planning seasonal mrp forecast based planning so these all are the mrp which is required for the mrp run and the second thing we required mrp controller as you all know that it is responsible for material planning and after that we also have load size data like how we are creating our loads is it a fixed load it's a monthly load is it a um, daily load uh, weekly load quarterly load so these all are depends on on this load size so let's start with the ex this the first one is a standard one that is load for load order quantity so ex mein kya hota hai it's a journal ki jab bhi hum ex load dalte hain iske andar to ye jitna hamari as it is quantity ki requirement hoti hai uske according ek load generate kar deta hai उसके बाद आता है अपना मिनिमम लोड साइज मैक्सिमम लोड साइज जब भी हम यहाँ पे मिनिमम या मैक्सिमम लोड साइज पुट करते हैं तो हमें ये डाटा फिल करना पड़ता है लाइक मैक्सिमम स्टॉक आफ्टर दिस रिक्वायरमेंट एच वी इज ऑल्सो फिक्स लोड सो ये सारी चीज़ें जो हैं ये सारी चीज़ें हमें यहाँ पे डालनी पड़ती हैं तो फिक्स लोड के लिए जैसे अभी मैं डाल देता हूँ कि वन इसका फिक्स लोड बनेगा तो यहाँ पर मुझे वन थाउजेंड का लोड डालना पड़ेगा और ऑटोमेटिकली ये एफ के साथ हमें यहाँ पर ये चेंज करना पड़ेगा एफ और एफ उसके साथ हमें यहाँ पे लोड साइज चेंज करना पड़ेगा तो अभी जनरली हम जो हैं ई एक्स के साथ करने वाले हैं इसे तो ये रहा हमारा लोड साइज का कम्पलीशन लाइक हमें किस तरह से लोड चाहिए सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन हमें यहाँ से एग्जीक्यूट करके मिलेंगी उसके बाद आता है एम आर पी व्यू टू इसमें हमें क्या आ, जो डाटा रिक्वायर्ड है दैट इज़ प्रोक्योरमेंट टाइप क्या हमारा जो मटेरियल है वो प्रोक्योर होने वाला है या इन हाउस प्रोड्यूस होने वाला वो सारा डाटा जो यहीं से फेच होता है अगर हमारा प्लान ऑर्डर बनवाना है तो हमें यहाँ पे ई e लेना चाहिए ल, लेना पड़ेगा ई इज़ फॉर इन हाउस प्रोडक्शन एफ इज़ फॉर इन लाइक एक्सटर्नल प्रोक्योरमेंट तो ये सारी चीज़ें जो है हमें यहाँ पर डालनी पड़ती हैं इसके साथ हमारा ये डेट्स जो कैलकुलेट कर, करता है सिस्टम वो दैट इज़ फ्राम शेड्यूलिंग इन हाउस प्रोडक्शन टाइम प्लान डिलीवरी टाइम जी प्रोसेसिंग टाइम and uh, the last one is schedule margin key this is also required to run uh, the scheduling and uske baad ye safety stock ki things hai abhi iske bare mein discuss nahi karunga just the prerequisites which is exactly required to run the mrp that i'm only going to discuss after that there is a mrp view third so basically what strategy we are going to use for the mrp uh, like or uh, we can say like what strategy we are going to use for the material planning so is it make to stock scenario or uh, it's a make to order scenario? Scenario, that will decide under the MRP uh, like strategy group. So uh, here we need to put that strategy like ten, twenty, forty, fifty, fifty-two. So these all are the strategy we are need to put over here. And after that there is availability check. And the fourth one is that individual requirement or collective requirement. Collective requirement, as you know that the bunch 
like we can say it will uh, like bunch all the requirements in a single requirement if you are considering it as an individual it will create a manual a single single or separate TR, uh, pr for all the materials so these all are the requirement which is required to run the mrp so let's start with the transaction code md01n सो so, ये ट्रांजेक्शन है एम लाइव और ये फंक्शनैलिटी हमें हावन हाना में देखने को मिलती है तो इसमें पहले क्या होता था कि एम लाइव का आपको पता ही है कि नॉर्मल एम चलता था क्लासिकल एम हम जिसे बोलते हैं और उसमें हमारे पास इतनी फंक्शनैलिटी नहीं थी लाइक हम ना एम कंट्रोलर के साथ एम रन कर सकते थे ना तो अपने प्रोडक्ट ग्रुप के साथ एम रन कर सकते थे वी ओनली हैव ऑप्शन फॉर प्लांट एंड मटीरियल and after that we also have a uh, like components like uh, i'll share you uh, another screen md02 the difference between two mrps so we also have a processing key nt ntch and then second one is neupl before it was netch netpl and the third one is neupl we in the last like ecc we have three uh, processing keys but now in hana it's only two processing keys and there is no other thing like my mrp control uh, mrp controller is not there and uh, we also have a uh, the planning mode uh, last in acc we have three planning modes like this adapt planning re explored uh, bomb and routing and delete and recreate planning so these are the planning mode which is uh, in uh, ecc but in iv uh, like live uh, live mrp only have two modes so these are the two modes which is in uh, live mrp the adapt planning and delete and recreate pl uh, planning data so these are the two things which is in uh, a planning mode for, for the neupl which is uh, regenerative planning so that for that we only have our this tick so once we activate this regenerative planning it will uh, run for the all uh, like uh, regenerative planning so if you want uh, like bomb is changed bomb component is changed all order bomb component share stock transfer so that we need to put this active over here and then we need to run the mrp so let's start with the material g j02 so this is the my planning mode and now execute so mrp run is uh, like completed now we have to check whether there is a uh, requirement over in md04 or not that we have to check in md04 there is no requirement because there is a uh, like for this requirement uh, for this material there is no pir or sales order kind of thing so just uh, i'm just wanted to show you like so now i'm creating a pir for the material 2000010 so which is the material we have tested for uh, like all configuration so before going to create a pir we just going to check the planning strategy what are the planning strategy we are using for this material so if it is not there we need to assign one strategy so this is the view for strategy so here i am putting strategy 10 save and now uh, i am going to create a pir for the same material so let's suppose the for uh, fourth month fifth month its 2010 requirement is there so while uh, running the mrp <coughs> we need to check the data which is here so like for uh, classical mrp we need to check the purchase requisition uh, planning mode processing key so these all are the data which is required for the mrp and here you need to put the material and here you need to put plant after that there is a processing key that is net change in horizon and the second is neupl regenerative regenerative planning is basically using when we are uh, implement first time mrp and we are rating like hitting it for a complete plant so now this is for a normal mrp so we need to put this all things over here so now i'm not going to execute with this requirement but i will uh, use md01 and which is live mrp <clears throat> so this is the plant material here i have to put one and that's it and now run execute it so now this is the require uh, stock requirement list is also here so this is the plant order which is generated material basically it's a fast uh, live mrp it's a fast processing 
so now md04 so here you get planned orders after the mrp run and for the same raw material we are also going to just here we have to take check like which is the raw material is assigning for the material that is 1001 but the stock is there so that is the reason there is no pir for this material if stock is not there then it will create a pir for the same material while uh, after the mrp run so this is the complete video of mrp run and uh, next video i am going to uh, share you the and in the next video i am going to share you the different different scenario of uh, MRP type and uh, load size procedure like how it will be react after the MRP run once we have updated with the mean manual reorder point planning normal MRP load size fix load size maximum uh, replenishment to maximum stock and uh, minimum stock these all are the data I will uh, execute in next video so jo bhi bande abhi naye is video ke liye please is channel ko subscribe kare like kare share kare और थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दी एग्जिस्टिंग सब्सक्राइबर्स थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच हैव अ गुड डे